Drivers, start your engines! What is up you guys? My name is Lou Chavez. Today we are playing NR2003. We're here at Charlotte getting ready to run the Coke's Coca-Cola 600, one of the longest races on the circuit. Um, yeah, pretty much. 51 laps here. We're at Charlotte. Alright, so we're here about to get the green flag. Green flag should pop out here in a second. After the pace car dies on pit road, we get to the area where we're supposed to get the green flag, because apparently I forgot to mention that. And apparently you probably already knew that. I think. Probably. I don't know. Green flag is out. We're racing here at Charlotte. Alright, one lap completed here at Charlotte. Going to pull away from Matt Kansas and the rest of the pack. Which is pretty good. That means we have a good working race car for today. We're on rails. At least no wind will be affecting us. I can see that. No wind affecting us. That means the car won't be loose or tight. When we get out horse or looseness or anything like that. Caution's already out. Great. That's just great, isn't it? Get a short green flag run like always. End up getting a caution. Always great. Just hit the wall a little bit back there. Check the damage. We're okay. We should be okay at least. It was barely a light brush. So apparently everything happened on the front straightaway once again. And uh we we'll have to find the pace car, which is probably already on turn number three, because that's how this game works. You'd be flying around this track, and it's still spawning at, like, turn three. It's like, what? What is even happening right now? I don't know. Anyway, they found the pace car way over there. Probably going to end up making a pit stop, so I'll change all this. Not paying attention. I'm gonna, i gotta, I got to figure all this out. I'll, I'll be back for the restart the pace car. I don't know. We'll be back for the restart. Alright, so, uh, back here again. Uh, back in 15th place, my crew ended up fixing the damage I didn't want them to fix, so that wasted time on pit road. I forgot to change that setting off, so, uh, yeah, we're back here in the pack. It's gonna be hard to pass. This green flag is back out here in Charlotte. It's gonna be really hard to pass, because I really don't trust the cars that are racing right now. So, that means we're gonna have to, uh, figure out how to life right now. Okay, I have to get around Clint Boyer over here. Somehow get around him, I should say. This is going to be a real challenge. Because these cars do not... Do not... I don't know how to explain it. They don't, uh... What's the word I'm looking for? Stuck up here on top, great. Everyone's coming to a stop! Uh, okay, find the gear, let's go. Why did I just shift in a second? Let's go! I really did not know everyone was just gonna come to a stop like that. Now I know that everyone that up top went up into the wall. See, I just did that. So, no grip whatsoever up there, and even AI was hit the wall up there, and cars that are behind that will end up stopping and uh, ruining somewhat of your day because you just ended up becoming from 15 to the smoke. What the? Who just saved that car? Whoever just saved that car is a god. Just straight god. Like, no joke. So, we gotta figure out how to get past all these cars somehow. 
don't know how we're going to end up doing that, speaking that uh, we know what these cars are capable of and knowing what they're not capable of, and this track is not very wide for them, so that means that they're going to have to figure out how to life over there. Handle on the bottom, gotta get a little bit of that apron. God. Move it, Bernard. Move. I'm coming through. We're on rails right now. I know, he's still there. He's still there. I see him in the mirror. Should be good now. As you can probably tell, uh, new sound pack, everything is different on screen. But uh, I ended up having a, I ended up deciding to uh, factory reset my computer, so basically everything's back to stock. And uh, downloaded the game, mod track, and all that. So we're back racing once again. We did last week at Dover. Not the greatest race I wanted, but I'm gonna. In the bottom of Carl Edwards here. Greg Biffle, because that's going to be the real challenge right now. Going to get around Greg Biffle, because you see where he's running his line, and then compared to where I can find a hole, he's not going to let me do anything whatsoever. I already know it. Car slow up here. I want to use that as a pick, but. Rather than that, that ain't gonna happen. Uh, three wide up here. I see Clem Boyer. Oh, we're gonna try to make it. We're gonna try to make it. Oh, no, 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 no. What the? Fuck? Oh, What just happened? I don't even know what happened. What? No way. There's no way that just happened. We just popped a wheelie. And we're, we land it back on the front wheels and we're driving still. What? I mean, how does that even make sense? Physics. Since 2003. Uh huh, get it? This game came out in 2003? No? Okay. You, you, don't, you, you don't get it either? Yeah, I mean, you, you don't. Anyway, um, gotta figure out how to uh, get past the cars since we just pretty much oh, Travis Pastrana did front stretch popping out. I've never known for a track to be made that way to where you can pop a wheelie like that. There's a curry. Try to get on the bottom of the 44 here. Hopefully he sees us down here as this in-game botter tells us. He probably did because he's still up there. Great Biffle, I'm going to stick my nose in there, but it ain't going to work. I can't wiggle it. Wiggle my nose. somehow get around him. I'm going to try to go in the bottom one here on the straightaway. I don't know if it's going to work. You get the power and the speed. Alright, Biffle, I'm sticking my nose in here. If you come down, you're going to wreck. Come on. Greg, I told you. I told you, Greg. Caution's out. I told him I'm sticking. I'm going to stick the nose of the car in there. But too bad you don't have a driver to driver uh, audio anymore. Or in-car audio. In-car talk. You know what I'm talking about, probably. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I know what I'm trying to say, but it's just not coming out of my mouth correctly. Correctly? Does that make sense? Get around Almarola here. Caution is out. Why is everyone coming to a stop? What? No, 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 no. Go down a gear. Don't go down a gear. Don't go down a gear, actually. We're spinning out. 
was happening? Greg, Greg, Kyle Busch is running to the back of us. Everyone's just wrecking here on caution. What? Oh, the 34 just hit hard, or 38. Okay, then, so that happened. I'm trying to figure out what I want for pits. And everyone's just killing themselves over here. Wrecking. Everyone just pretty much de de demolished their car. I don't understand why. On caution. Anyway, you're going to the pits. We'll come back out, get you back for the restart. Alrighty, so we're back here. 16th, gained a few positions, I think. I don't know, we're back here behind Matt Dibendero. Get some throwing and some dominy, yes, and uh, we green flag. That's a really poor, poorly done Germany accent. Really tired right now. And Kyle Bush, you better get that booty moving. Ryan Newman's gonna try to. No, I'm not gonna get there in time. Alright, so there's a car up there. God, why is this wheel so sensitive? My wheel is just acting sensitive right now for some reason. Why is everyone coming to pit road? What? Why was everyone just suddenly coming to. Come on! Get on the wheels. Oh my god. Why was everyone suddenly coming on a pit road? It don't make sense. We just made pit stops. I saw them go in. Now we damage our car. We have nose damage. And then we have side damage running up on our side, skidding. Don't even make sense. Why were they coming up pit road? God, I wish there was a warning for someone to say they're coming to pit road. Not just suddenly don't say nothing. Just say the guys ahead. Of you. We need the NASCAR 14 or 15 spotters in here where they can actually tell in front of you who's going to be pitting. This is just ridiculous. Every time this happens to me. Oh my god. Oh, gotta fix all this damage on pit road. I'll see you guys back at the restart. Back here on restart. We're all the way in the back because people decided to be stupid and go on pit road and no one decides to tell me. But we got black flags for having debris on the track. I went in, fixed it up, and we still have the black flag. So I have to come in and get that. Green flag is back out. Oh my god. Dude, our, our front is gone. The hood is just cut off. They cut off our hood. Which don't even make sense. I think we still have the speed to run with these guys a little bit. Maybe. I guess we'll find out here in a second as we get all the way up to top speed as far as we can go. I might be able to, I want to be able to full throttle this all the way. It's just more cars going to pit road? Okay, why is everyone still going to pit road? No, I don't get a caution on this one, but I get a caution on the last one. Are you kidding me? I'm a I'm going to pit road. I can't deal with it. I can't deal with it. It's just too much. Don't understand. Make I'll, I'll make my pass or penalty here. It's the only way I'm going to be able to get this black flag off of me. Make pit road here. I'm trying to look for the guys that are... Ah, crap. Come on. No, 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 no. no. I'm going. Caution is out. Oh, okay, thank God. I saw the guys behind me start going, so I had to go, and then caution came out. So that that works in our favor. We still have the black flag on us, but we're not going to get disqualified because black flags cannot be cleared on yellow, which means we're still in this thing, kind of. Not really. I think so. I don't know. We have ten laps to go. And, uh, yeah, we're twenty-eighth, twenty-sixth. Why am I going in the grass? I'm not paying attention, I don't think I'm paying attention. I totally just thought about life, I think, for a second.
Where's the, where's the pack? Literally. Did they just teleport away? Okay, there they are. Somewhat. They're halfway there. Okay, they're there. Cool. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Cool. Anyways, we gotta uh, see what the restart. I guess I'll go in pit road, I think, maybe. We'll see what happens. Probably not. Back here again for the restart. Clean off our top little bit of Hamlin. I'm gonna get up far uh, to the front. So if we make a pit, pit pad, uh, pit, we can get the green flag out. We can uh, uh, clear this black flag without being too many cars. Uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm trying to. Harvick just cut it. What? Uh, this guy just came out of nowhere too. No, don't put me three wide. Oh God! In the wall we go. Everyone's in the wall. Oh. Bad idea. Really bad idea. They just. Oh yeah, AJ Almendinger. I'm gonna go three wide. Hopefully he can hold it with a stupid car. Don't even make sense. Oh my god. This is not cool whatsoever. Five laps to go. We'll probably end up finishing this under caution. Let's see what happens. I might end up getting somewhat of a position somehow. I don't know. And we'll see at the restart if we have one. So we will end up having a restart. It will be like a green green checker. Pretty much. That's pretty much what this is gonna end up being, like a green checker. There's no the white is pretty much the green. So basically this is like the final lap right here. We gotta get up to the as far as we can up. Because right now we're at 26th position. Pretty sure we have faith in ourselves to go farther. And Goss and Dylan up there. There's no way. We, I, I don't have the speed. I'm just gonna block all I can back here. Block AJ. Unless I get the draft off of somebody, which I'm probably not. I'm just pretty much blocking everybody. Alright, so green flag checker, white checker. Here we go. And we finish the race. So, uh, race is finished. That's pretty much the race. 28th position is what we're going to have to settle with. Uh, at least we finished the race, not as what, how I wanted to. But, uh,. By the, all these guys, it's just slowing down a little bit right now. Oh my god, no, 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 slug it down and saved it. All right, we're gonna get in front of all these guys. I don't feel like waiting for all these guys. Come on, the road, we're still gonna go pit road speed 43 miles an hour, 35 miles an hour. What is it, 30, 40, 45? I don't remember. I think it's 45. Oh well, we'll go our speed of 45 miles an hour because that's what seems like everyone else is going. And everyone seems to be going a little bit slow. And Brad Horseface, or Kozlowski, is what everyone calls him, apparently. And, uh, going to our guys here. I think this guy's going to tell us, to, he's going to time us, isn't he? Yep. You're clear. And the race is over. That's cool. Anyway, we'll just rev the engine up for no apparent reason, because we feel like it. Let's feel accomplished in our life, shall we? Get out of the car. So, uh, yeah, race is over. 28th place, pl uh, plural. Eric Almarola ekes out a win here at Charlotte 2013. Yep, there you have it. Eric Almarola wins. But, uh, yeah, that's gonna pretty much end this video. If you guys liked it, go hit that subscribe button, that like button, comment what you think. We'll see you guys next week at Pocono. Hopefully you guys can see that. See you later, guys.